Hello. Hi. We're gonna get we're gonna get that man. That man <laughs> with the the really uh the nice jowls. <laughs> and no eyeballs. They rendered the hell out of those jowls the best they I know. could. As good as he can as he, as he could with PS1. Am I too late? He's alive. You're the arms tech president, Kenneth Baker, right? Don't worry, I'm here to save you. No, no, don't touch it! C4. Operations Foxhound. Revolver Ocelot. I've been waiting for you, Solid Snake. Now we'll see if the man can live up to the legend. This is the greatest handgun ever made. The Colt Single Action Army. Six bullets, more than enough to kill anything that moves. Now I'll show you why they call me... Revolver. Draw! Whoa. Oh my goodness, first boss fight. It's pretty simple. Um, it's definitely harder. Not like a lot, a lot harder, but uh, because you, you you know half the time you can't even see Ocelot on the screen, and he can bounce the bullets off to hit you, etc., etc. You you have a very small amount of life. You can only carry two rations, mm -hmm. and I just use one. I love the of doing a There's nothing like the feeling of slamming a long silver bullet into a well chamber. You. Well, all right. Oh, Slot, you're too old. <laughs> you're too. Grandpa, too old to no. Do that. Grandpa, don't that's, tell me. Don't tell me about your sex escapades. It's gross. I think you mean sex capades. Sex capades. Jeez, I'm sorry. Oh, and if you touch, if you touch the wires to the C4, uh, he blows up, and then Oslot calls you an idiot. <laughs> What a dummy! Oh, and all the mm -hmm. boss fights in... Almost all the boss fights in MGS1 use this, this same song. And that actually got changed for Twin Snakes. All the bosses have their own unique uh, track. Which is one of the, like, actual improvements in Twin Snakes. Oh, oh, there we go. There you go. And speaking of Twin Snakes... You can trank him, and with headshots, it only takes, like, four shots to the head. Well, wow. if, I got, if, you, if I got three headshots on him, it's just three headshots, yeah. You're pretty good. It's really just easy. I expect from the man with the same code as the boss. It's been a long time since I had such a good fight, but I'm just getting warmed up. What? My hand! <laughs> Stealth camouflage. Can't you even die right? You were lucky. We'll meet again. Who are you? I like you. I have no name. That that exoskeleton. Who are 
you. I like you. I have no name. That... that exoskeleton... the hell? Can you talk? Who are you? I'm not one of them. The DARPA chief told me he gave them his detonation code. What about yours? Oh, I get it. Jim sent you. You're, you're from the Pentagon. Answer my question. What about your code? There's no time. I... talked. What? Now the terrorists have both codes and can launch any time. It's not like I didn't fight. I managed to resist Psycho Mantis's mind probe. He couldn't read you? How'd you do it? Surgical implants in my brain. Surgical implants? Kind of like a psychic insulation. Everyone who knows these top secret codes has it. Even the DARPA chief? Of course. But the DARPA chief said Mantis got his code by reading his mind. Are you sure you heard him right? Yeah, I'm sure. In that case, how did they get your code? I never had any training on how to resist torture. <coughs> it looks like he had some fun with you, all right. Oh, he's not human. I tell you, he loved every second of it. What happened to your arm? He broke it. Looks like you're more than even now. His was sliced off. Ha. Huh. You're a funny man. So the DARPA chief, is he okay? Dead. What? I can't be. No, no, that's not what you promised, Jim. Now you want to shut me up? Oh. Calm down. What's wrong with you? I just told you I was here to save you. Uh, I didn't kill the DARPA chief. He had a heart attack or something. A heart attack? Oh, don't be a fool. Anyway, the terrorists have both codes now. Those boys are totally insane. They wouldn't hesitate to launch. I agree, but what do they really want? Oh, who knows? Maybe they're like us in the arms industry, always looking forward to the next good war. Well, I'm not gonna let these maniacs start a war today. You still have the card keys? Card keys? To override the detonation code. I heard you had them. No, not anymore. What? Who does then? Not the terrorists. No. That woman. Woman? Who? A soldier that was thrown in prison along with me. A female soldier? It must be. She said she had just joined up as a new recruit. They threw her in prison because she refused to take part in the rebellion. A new recruit? Could that be the Colonel's niece? I gave her the key. Looks like she managed to break out of here, though. I hope she's okay. I'm sure she is. She's green, but as tough as they come. But how did you know she escaped? I was in contact with her by Kodak. Until I was tied up here, that is. Kodak? Yes, she stole it from the guard. If she still has it, you should be able to contact her. 
I'm sure she still has it. What frequency was she at? Oh, yeah. Let me tell you, it's... Oh. Sorry. I forgot. Damn! Oh, that's right. It should be on the back of the CD case. Try to contact her. Huh? Oh. Sorry. I forgot. Damn! Oh, that's right. It should be on the back of the package. Try to contact her. I'll contact her right away. But tell me, if this doesn't work, is there some other way to prevent the missile launch? Hmm. You need to find Hal Emmerich, one of my employees. Who's that? The team leader of the Metal Gear Rex project. A genius at engineering, but a little bit of an oddball. If there's anyone who can figure out how to stop Metal Gear from launching, it's him. What if he can't come up with anything? You'll have to destroy it. Emmerich knows how to destroy Metal Gear. Where is this Emmerich? Well, he's probably being held somewhere in the Nuclear Warhead Storage Building. It's north from here. That's where he worked. I understand, but why Metal Gear? The Nuclear Age ended with the turn of the Millennium. Oh, you're wrong. The threat of nuclear war isn't gone. In fact, it's greater than it's ever been. The amount of spent nuclear fuel and plutonium is increasing even today. Listen, have you ever seen a warehouse full of nuclear material? No. Drums and drums of nuclear waste stacked this high, as far as you can see. Because there's still no real way to dispose of the stuff. So they just close the lid and try to pretend like it'll go away? Uh, essentially, yes. And they're not even doing a good job of storing it. Many of the drums are corroded, with nuclear waste seeping out of them. Unbelievable. Not only that, but several pounds of muff are reported every year. Muff? It stands for material unaccounted for. It proves that there's a large and well-organized black market in nuclear materials. Furthermore, since the end of the Cold War, Russian nuclear engineers in particular are out of work with no way to turn. In other words, there's plenty of available nuclear material and scientists for making a bomb. We live in an age when any small country can have a nuclear weapons program. What about the other superpowers? Uh, Russia and China still maintain a significant nuclear presence. Complete nuclear disarmament is an impossibility. To maintain our own policy of deterrence, we need a weapon of overwhelming power. You mean Metal Gear. Yes. You know our industry suffered quite a blow as a result of the cuts in military budgets due to this so-called peace. I remember hearing a lot about mergers and takeovers among the big weapons makers. Yes. And after my company lost their bid to produce the Air Force's next line of fighter jet, the Metal Gear system was our last ace in the hole. That's why we pushed to have Metal Gear developed as a black project. Black project? Secret projects paid for by the Pentagon's black budget. You can avoid a lot of red tape and get a great lead time on your weapons production. And no one can bother you. Not even those bleeding heart liberals on the Military Oversight Committee. Bribes. I prefer to think of it as good business. Anyway, Metal Gear was going to be formally adopted after the results of this exercise were analyzed. I don't give a crap about you and your company. Yes, that's about what I'd expect from a grunt like you. Here, th this is what you came for, right? What's that? An optical disc. It's all here. The main hard drive was destroyed by gunfire. This is the only remaining copy of the data. What kind of data? All the data collected from this exercise. Don't play dumb. I know you were sent to get this. I hid it from that sadistic maniac while he was torturing me. They don't know this disc exists. Make sure you report this to Jim. To your boss. I'll give you my card too. It'll open up all security level two doors. Can you walk? No. No, you go on without me. They got my password. They don't want anything else from me. I have one more question. Who or what was that ninja thing? It looked like you knew something. That ninja? That was Foxhound's dark little secret. Dark little secret? An experimental genome 
soldier. <coughs> you know him? You should ask Dr. Naomi Hunter from Foxhound. She knows better than I. Naomi? You've got to stop them. If it goes public, my company and I are finished. What? Doesn't Metal Gear use currently existing technology? Metal Gear itself does, but... What? What did you do to me? Oh, no. Oh, no, it can't be. Those Pentagon bastards. So, they, they actually went in. Did it? What are you talking about? They, they, they are just using you for... What the hell? Colonel, are you listening? Now he's dead too. I have no idea. Don't lie to me. It looked like another heart attack, but... Some kind of poison? Well, there are lots of drugs that can cause a heart attack in large doses. For example, potassium chloride or dioxides, but we won't be able to tell without doing an autopsy. Damn! Snake, I want you and Meryl to work together. Can I trust her? More than you can trust me. Get in contact with her. Snake, there's a lot of electrical interference coming from there. It should be okay if you do burst transmission like us, but normal transmission is probably impossible. Try moving away from that area. Snake, get a hold of yourself. Naomi, what the hell was that ninja thing? A member of Foxhound? No. Are you sure? Yes, we have no one like that in our unit. Is that right? Snake, I'm counting on you. Okay. Oh, hey. And also, every time you beat a boss, your your life bar gets a little longer. And you can also carry more stuff. Hmm. Like, hmm. we can carry double the amount of chaff grenades. But we can still only carry two rations at the moment. So oh, you, you gain pockets from bad guys. Yeah, you get, you get pockets and somehow you live longer. It rejuvenated... Uh... Your lust for life. Hmm. Killing a man. Well, you, you, you didn't die, but you know. Yeah. I should mention that uh, Twin Snakes is also a lot easier because you... Uh, that that whole you get more pockets in life from beating a boss thing was removed. So you can just immediately carry five rations, a ton of ammo for everything, and you have a gigantic life bar. Like it goes halfway across the screen, it's that big. And yet I'm still awful at the game. <laughs> We've... Uh, oh, no. This is just bullets. I should also mention that, um... Between... All the original voice actors from MGS1 came back for Twin Snakes. But one of the... Oh, yeah. Look at these oh, things. Oh, my goodness, fuckers. red things. What could these red things be? Good thing I got my thermal monocle. <laughs> oh, and we got that disc with us. We can't do anything with it, though. Oh my goodness. Well, you can't really see the lasers in first person either because there's so much shit on your screen. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, they, they, you got the... Uh, you can also you, smoke to seize him. Yep. You got the FAMAS here, which is the automatic rifle. And you can only fire full auto. So either you're shooting all the time or you're not shooting because there's no pressure sensitivity or anything. But, um... Anyways, one of the actors does not reprise the role in Twin Snakes, and that is the ninja. Which is weird, because the guy who voices the ninja also voices uh, the DARPA chief, who who also voiced the DARPA chief in Twin Snakes. They just felt for some reason they needed a completely different voice actor for the ninja in Twin Snakes, oh. even though they had the same guy. That is really weird. Yeah, I don't know why they did that. I mean, I don't really care that they have different voices, both of them are fine. They aren't that... They're different, but they're not... Like, the new one isn't awful. It's just strange. Yeah. Oh, and, um... Also about the voice actors. Uh, for Twin Snakes, they obviously had less of a budget. At least, it, sort of. 
for like voice actors and stuff and David Hayter kind of costs a lot of money now and so what David Hayter actually did in order to get all the original actors back he actually uh, took less pay so the other actors could get paid he's a nice guy yeah, isn't he nice he's nice he's so nice no no so now we need to contact that chick who is apparently Meryl and if you're playing Twin Snakes, you're probably really confused. Because they changed the line from, oh yeah, her frequency should be on the CD case, to it should be on the package. Mm -hmm. So you're constantly thinking, oh, the package, right. It's something in the game that I missed. Is it on the cardboard box or something? That might be a package. I no. thought it was on the optical disc. Yeah, because he CD gives case you a CD. Of the optical disc. But yeah. no, you're supposed to actually look at the vi on the back of the case for Twin Snakes or Metal Gear Solid, and you'll see a screenshot of the codec with Meryl on it, and that's how you get Snake her frequency. Snake saying Meryl. Dot dot dot. Yeah. You've got to think. Your mind is your most dangerous weapon. If things are getting called Miller for advice, too bad he gives to bad advice. Your thoughts. You can also try <laughs> and also tells you to call other advice. people to get to get advice. Miller. Miller, that's bad advice. Call me for advice. Call this person for advice. That's my advice. <laughs> I don't want your problems. Go to, Go to this guy. Yeah. What can I do for also, uh, here's a save from Twin Snakes to compare. Uh, it's the same voice actress, but she just loses her accent, so just for comparison. So she sounds less retarded. Snake, in China they say you must cross the river before you tell the crocodile he has bad breath. Do you know what that means? It means that the wise man avoids danger first. Use your brain, Use your brain to avoid Snake. Traps, you have one. Stay away from you, the you apparently have an IQ of 180. <laughs> Come on, use it. Quit fighting crocodiles. <laughs> 